18 different component parts of an arch. Arch is the structure that is constructed over the opening of the windows, doors or cupboards, etc. The arch structure is also used in bridge construction. In ancient times, it was the most common structure used in any type of building. Arch may be circular, elliptical or any other shape. It consists of wedge-shaped blocks of stone, bricks, etc. It may be made of steel or RCC in case of bridge construction. In this article, I am going to share different component parts of an arch and also some technical terms used in arch construction. 1. Abutment The abutment is the end support of an arch. In other words, it is the end support of a span on which the arch rests. The abutment may be walls or columns in the case of buildings and retaining walls in the case of a bridge. An abutment should be designed in such a way that it can easily withstand arch thrust. 2. Piers Piers is also a supporting member of an arch, but it is the intermediate supporting member. Piers are used when a series of arches is constructed. 3. Arch ring It is a course of wedge-shaped blocks, arranged in a curved form and supported on the abutments or piers. 4. Intradose This is the inner curved surface of the arch. 5. Extradose this is the outer curved surface of the arch, it is also known as the back of the arch ring. 6. Soffit The soffit is the bottom surface of the arch. Indratos and soffit terms are used to indicate the same thing. 7. Span of the arch The span of the arch is nothing but a clear horizontal distance between the supports. 8. Crown the crown is the highest part of an arch. In other words, it is the height points of the extradose arch. 9. Voussoirs Voussoirs are wedge-shaped units by which the arch ring is created. These block units may be of brick, stone, or plain cement concrete. Voussoirs are also called arch blocks. 10. Keystone Keystone is also a wedge-shaped block unit but it is larger than the voussoirs. This unit is placed at the highest point of the arch. 11. Skew back. It is the splayed surface prepared on the top of an abutment or pier, to receive the arch. Arch work actually starts from skew back. 12. Springing points. These are the points from where the curve of an arch starts. In other words, these are the points at which intradose and skew backs intersect. 13. Springing line. The springing line is nothing but the imaginary horizontal line joining the two springing points. 14. Springers It is the first voussoir, or, beginning voussoir, at the springing level on either side of the arch. 15. Depth of the arch It is the vertical distance between the intradose and extradose of an arch. 16. Center of the arch as its name suggests, it is the geometrical center of the curve of an arch. 17. Rise of the arch It is the perpendicular distance between the springing line and the highest point of the below curve interdose of the arch. 18. Haunch If you imagine a line between crown and skew back, then the portion below the imagined line is known as haunch. Thank you, 